What's up guys, this is Spooky, and today I want to talk to you guys about the Calcom Cup 2016. The Calcom Pro Tour has been a great series this year, and the finals will have 32 of the strongest players in the world battling it out. The total prize pool just for the finals is $350,000. You can find lots of information on the entire tour and all the players who have qualified by heading to CalcomProTour.com. There's lots of information available, including player profiles and tournament records. It also lists the current bracket hosted on Challenge.com. You can also create your own fantasy bracket for free and have a chance to win prizes. The finals bracket is available for you guys at challenge.com slash calcom cup 2016. Anyway, now I'd like to talk about some notable matches from the first round of the tournament to help you guys out who may want to create your own fantasy bracket at home. Uh, the first seed that we have is Infiltration. This guy's coming fresh off a set of dominant performances all throughout the life of Street Fighter V. He has amazing technical prowess he, combined with age and experience. He's a master of one of the strongest characters in Nash, and he has a pocket Rashid. No surprise, he was also one of the best players in the Street Fighter IV era, and he consistently plays high at Evolution in pretty much every tournament he went to. A download complete, as he said at EVO, really strong player, one of the best in the biz. He's won three majors this year, final round, NorCal regionals, and of course the granddaddy, EVO 2016, and he's placed quite high in every other event he's entered. Uh, his opponent is 32nd seed, Human Bomb. Uh, he's one of the strongest players from China who also qualified last year, along with Zhao Hai. And uh, this year he's maining Chun-Li. Uh, anyway, I don't think that Infiltration should underestimate him, but I'm sure that most of you guys will vote for him, as, of course, Infiltration is one of the favorites to win the entire tournament. In the very next matchup, we have Luffy, who's a former Evolution winner. He's represented France well, and he's one of only two guys in the top 32 who's playing Rainbow Mika, a character who's really known for unpredictable pressure, both with command grabs and V-Trigger style resets. His opponent is Mago, who's one of Tokyo Era's strongest players, one of my favorite players as well. Uh, and I'm really excited to see his strong, fundamental style of Kaden up against a whirlwind of Mika mix-ups. He had many strong performances this year, including a win at the Pro Tour Asia Finals, so I'm sure lots of you guys are going to favor Mago, as he has really strong momentum coming into these finals. Further on in the bracket, we have yet another Evolution winner, and it's Shan of Singapore. What I love most about him this tournament is that he's playing Fong, which is a very unpopular choice. Only some of his opponents even have experience against a Fong of his caliber, and he uses this to his advantage just like he did Gen in the Street Fighter 4 era. If you've never fought Jan before, there's a good chance you just do not know the matchup as good as he does. His opponent is Chris T, who's one of the strongest players in SoCal and really, really known for his solid Ken play. Uh, anyway, I think that Chris will need to take a lot of time in the lab to really prepare for his opponent, but he does have the right character to create constant pressure, and that in-your-face style is one of Fong's big weaknesses. I'm sure many of you guys are going to favor Shan here, but I think this will be a very close match. Also competing this year is last year's winner, Momochi. This guy is a legendary Ken main, and I've watched him play Ken from as far back as Street Fighter 3 Third Strike. To repeat at Calcom Cup would be mind-blowing, mind-blowing from Emochi, and he has the right analytical and patient gameplay to take it one step at a time. But he's definitely going to need that against his opponent, who's Mr. Crimson. Uh, much like Luffy, he's opted for a mix-up heavy character in Laura, who's really known for her strong knockdown game. Uh, he consistently guesses right what his opponent will do defensively, and once he's landed a solid knockdown, it's really difficult to escape the vortex of Mr. Crimson. I'm sure lots of you guys are going to favor Momochi as he is the champ, but I think that this early match is going to decide a lot about the tournament. This next match will definitely be a decider to the tournament itself and to everyone's fantasy bracket at home. EG's own Justin Wong has been dominant at multiple tournament performances. He's combined his defensive turtle style with Karen's insane walk speed and close range pressure to create a brick wall technique. His many years of experience against player tendencies has really started to pay off, and it actually reminds me of the old Wall of Fate long style of Fudo when he won EVO years ago. Uh, that being said, despite his very high seed, he's drawn a really tough opponent. Sako is one of the five gods of Street Fighter. This guy's a nut, okay? He's a killer. His combo creativity and consistency is so impressive that many fighting games have Sako combos, popular high-level combos that he introduced with his own gameplay. To label him a god, you have to call him the god of execution. But he also has strong fundamentals to back it up, and about as much experience playing in tournaments as Justin does. Justin dates as far back as Garo, but Sako originally known for Darkstalkers, okay? OG games, these guys have been playing for a long time. This match is really a toss-up. I really have no idea who will win. Personally, I favor Justin because I love Justin, but close match, no idea who's going to take it. Thanks a lot for watching, guys, and good luck on all your fantasy brackets. Much love to everyone, and I'll see you all soon. Peace.